U.S. Catholic bishops criticized the Biden administration for failing to let in more refugees. They say the historic low number is disappointing and America can do more to help people who are being persecuted around the world. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, the White House blames the Trump administration for hollowing out the refugee admission program, capping that number at 15,000. They say it's going to take time to rebuild the program. Meanwhile, the church tonight very worried about those left waiting and suffering. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki defends the administration's refugee program. We're trying to send a message to the world uh, that we are, want to welcome in refugees, and that's who we are as an administration. The White House plans to increase the refugee cap next month, then later on aim for a goal of 125,000 refugees to enter. We're actually going to set a cap, an, a, a large cap soon, uh, and I expect it's going to be before May 15th. The White House blames the Trump administration for dramatically shrinking the number of refugees allowed into the country and placing restrictions on places like Somalia, Syria and Yemen. The chairman of the Migration Committee of the U.S. Catholic Bishop says the number of refugees who will be welcomed this year is far short of what we can do as a country. Bishop Mario Dorsonville, Auxiliary Bishop of Washington, adds the dire circumstances confronting refugees and asylees has been of particular concern for the Catholic Church. A member of the Franciscan Action Network writes, President Biden must keep his promise and the faith community stands ready to assist in whatever ways we can. And former President Donald Trump warned in a statement, if Joe Biden wants to keep our country safe from radical Islamic terrorism, he should reinstitute the foreign country travel ban and all the vetting requirements and those seeking admission that go with it, along with the refugee restrictions I successfully put in place. Meanwhile, President Biden met with leaders of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus talking immigration and the American Jobs Plan. Also in his meeting with the Congressional Hispanic Caucus today, the president said that 24 out of every 100 grade school students in the U.S. is Hispanic or Latino. And he said that the U.S. will only succeed if Hispanic families succeed. And he called for more investment. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.